After a tragic crash involving a Brooks seaplane over Lake Coeur d'Alene last summer, now the flights could soon be operating again. This morning, Brandon T. Jones is in Coeur d'Alene with the planes, uh, talking about the planes and how they're making them safer. Good morning, Tim. By the end of next month, Brooks Seaplane will have a new owner, and this new owner plans on keeping the company's tradition alive and well, while also implementing some new safety protocols for the company. His name is Shane Rogers with No Limits Aviation in Hayden, Idaho, and Rogers says he plans to install new safety upgrades on the aircrafts that will be used on flights over the lake. The aircrafts will have a device called ADSB. It transmits the plane's location to other aircraft and in turn receives the other aircraft's location as well. The local aviation community has also been working to establish routes over the lake so that people will know where other aircrafts should be located in the air. I mean, raised my kids, really my kids were raised at an airport. We, we would exercise, all my kids have learned how to ride bikes at airports. Um, we've done a lot and, and I can go across the country and there's, you know, there's people at airports all around that, that welcome us with open arms. Rogers also runs a program to introduce local middle and high school students to the aviation industry. Yesterday during his trip to North Idaho, Governor Brad Little spoke about the aviation program. If we can get these kids started, you know, some of them are junior high. We get these kids started, get a peak their interest uh, working on an airplane here, peak their interest in flying. Uh, there's just lots and lots of opportunities in Idaho. So the aviation program currently has more than 100 kids enrolled in the program, and I know the return of Brooks Seaplane will mean a lot to this Coeur d'Alene community. Tim.